Hey gang, welcome back to another edition of Azure Every Day. I'm Christopher Furless, Senior Principal Consultant over here at Pragmatic Works, and today we're going to continue on our HD Insight series uh, with Interactive Query, right? Uh, interactive Query leverages uh, Hive, which um, uses LLAP, or Long Live in Process, aka Low Latency Analytical Processing, right? And this allows for interactivity with complex data warehouse style queries on large data sets, aka big data that is stored in commodity storage like Blob or Data Lake Store, those kinds of things, right? It's a standalone cluster that is separate from HDI Hadoop clusters, right? And it only contains the Hive service. Uh, the LLAP replaces the direct interaction with the HDFS data node, uh, which allows for caching, prefetching, some lighter query processing and access control. Uh, those heavier query, uh, query processing um, workloads are still happening at the Yarn container, right, with uh, text orchestration, uh, and that helps with the overall execution, right? Uh, being able to query the data interactively where the data is prepared is obviously much more efficient, right? Rather than needing to move the data from one storage location to another, like analytical engine, as we normally would with data warehousing, um, it allows for faster insights, resiliency, uh, reduced effort, right, and obviously uh, simplified architecture. Uh, you know, less components means more simplicity. Uh, when we talk about the execution, right, there's several ways to execute Hive queries from, from uh, Interactive Query, right? You can use Power BI, so you can tap right into it with your Power BI reports. You can use Zeppelin Notebooks. You can use Visual Studio. You can use Embari with uh, Hive View. Uh, you can use Beeline, right, from, from a head node or an empty edge node. Um, and you can also use ODBC to tap in, right? So um, a fair amount of ways to connect in and, and, and run these, uh, these workloads. Um, and then you can also leverage existing workloads, right? So if you're running batch and or ETL workloads using HD Insight, you can attach your interactive query cluster to an existing meta store and data storage without any additional overhead. So you've built uh, these data stores, right, um, for your Hadoop clusters. Now you can attach into those with your IQ and, uh, you know, run your, your workloads that way, okay? Uh, there may be a need, right, uh, to convert C, uh, CSV or JSON files into ORC or Parquet or Avro files, right, because they can be, um, uh, you know, more efficient for Hadoop processing. But with uh, interactive query, now that need is potentially either lessened or gone, right? Because they can load that data into memory um, where the queries now determine uh, what is cached and can just run uh, very quickly because it's basically running in memory as opposed to running from a storage area. Um, and then uh, it also uses the enterprise security package, which we've talked about before, and Azure Log Analytics, right? So these two features get wrapped into more of a, a true enterprise offering and uh, allows your users to use their, their simplified Active Directory domain logins. Uh, they can, you know, connect in th using the IQ, uh, run their workloads that they need to, and not have to have a separate set of credentials. Plus, you can monitor... Uh, your nodes from the log analytics piece um, and, you know, helps you bring that data into OMS, you know, for more of a top-down view and, and, and get a, a true understanding of what the whole environment looks like. So, um, you know, it, it, it offers some great opportunity here to run things more efficiently, uh, you know, and again, if, if they're smaller workloads, uh, can be run very, very quickly. So, um, obviously, you know, we're really uh, enjoying uh, all of these great big data technologies here at Pragmatic Works and uh, doing a lot of offerings around these with our customers, engagements, and people are really excited about what you can do with this technology at a, uh, a really affordable way. And, and uh, you know, if, if it's something you're interested in, you'd like to get more information about, click the link below and uh, we can hopefully help you out and, and point you in the right direction. Or, you know, um, if you want to dive deeper and, and understand the technology better, we're, we're here for that too. So, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Otherwise, uh, have a great day. Thank you.